to be doing a Mean Girls eyeshadow palette review, swatches, tutorial, an in-depth look, and I'm so excited. <laughs> mean Girls palette, like that's all I want in life is a Mean Girls eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited. And I love that Ariana Grande is bringing back Mean Girls, so I thought this was the perfect time to film this video. Mean Girls is one of my favorite movies, so I'm gonna show you guys my review. Here we go. Okay guys, let's get started. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. Here is the palette. Um, I freaked out when I saw this. I have been dying to look at this. Ah! Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh my god, it vibes with me. Look, oh! So it's called the Fetch Eyeshadow Palette. Two totally plastic shades. Me! <laughs> and then on the back it says, what's it made out of? Your mom's chest hair. <laughs> and then the ingredients, nothing else funny on there. Let's look at the colors together. I love it's pink sparkle. I might have to get my check because they're trying to stop my bags here. Oh, I thought the colors were gonna be a little more brighter than that. I guess their makeup is very neutral in the movie now that I'm thinking of it, but I feel like Mean Girls, I was just expecting more pinks, I guess. So, but the colors are very nice. So we're gonna swatch them and see how they perform. And I love the color of the palette. And this is probably the best. It says, you're like really pretty. She doesn't even go here. One of my favorite parts of the movie. Comment down below what your favorite quote is from Mean Girls. So let's go ahead and swatch these and then we will do a look on the eye. Okay, so the very first shade is called That's So Fetch. And Gretchen just tried to make that happen and it's a beautiful purple. I feel like that's like my favorite color in the shadow palette. <laughs> oh, powdery. And then I'm a cool mom, which is like Chris Jenner now. <laughs> and that one is like not a nice color to be honest. And then we have cheese fries, cause screw it, I'm just getting cheese fries. And that is like a beautiful metallic-y gold. And then we have I'm a mouse, duh. And that's a beautiful like chocolatey suede color. Next is Queen Bee. And that one, I don't even know. That's what color it is, what you're looking at. These are very powdery. That's what I'm noticing right away. Then you go Glen Coco, which me and my brother say that to each other like all the time. So that's funny. And that one is just a chocolate brown. And then Get In Loser is another nudie color. I feel like all these colors are very similar. Then rainbows and smiles. I don't really know what reference that's from. Is it when that girl's like, I just want everyone to be happy and rainbows and smiles. I think that's the part. And then he says, she doesn't even go here. I think that's that part. If I'm wrong, let me know. And then we have Calteen because that's the Calteen bar color. And that's like more of a like peachy suede. And then it's Wednesday. So I'm assuming this is our pink shade. And to me, that's like a pink like what and then we have the limit does not exist <laughs> it looks like a deep green but then when i'm swatching it here it looks black and it does have some shimmer in it and then we have what day is it and if you know it is october 3rd <laughs> i'm gonna attempt a cut crease for the first time in my life so let's get into it as you guys can see it's very powdery Prime our lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Prime everywhere. Excuse my nails. When I'm just like touching them, the powder is kicking. So I'm just gonna put some down for the crease, just to give me a little bit of a base to start with. It's like sticking. I'm not a fan. <laughs> At least of this shade so far on the lid. Like the color itself is pretty, but I feel like they're just like sticking everywhere. Okay, now I'm taking You Go Glen Coco, which is like a really nice brown, kind of purpley. I'm gonna like flick it out at the end here. I mean, I'm gonna clean this up real dramatically, but I'm gonna cut the crease. So down here, it doesn't really matter right now. We're just focusing on getting the color there. So now I'm just gonna go at the tops here and just soften it up and bringing the shadow like up, if that makes sense, instead of just like blending straight across. And then I'm gonna wisp this out. They do blend out. They don't just like stay there in one place. So, I mean, it's not that well, but what do you do, right? So now if I'm a mouse, duh, I'm gonna focus that nothing came up on there. Oh, it's like barely showing up. Switch to the limit does not exist. I just wanna darken the bottoms here up a bit. And with I'm a cool mom, I'm gonna put this to like sparkle it up a little bit and then I will blend it all together. Okay, then I'm gonna take what day is it? I'm gonna plop this right under my brow and that is definitely not 
a bright white. This might be the worst palette I've ever used. <laughs> and that sucks, because I love Mean Girls. I'm taking the You Go Glen Coco color, because it turns out like purpley, nice and like purpley. I'm gonna place that under here. Okay, now I'm gonna take the cheese fries color, and I'm gonna put that, oh, that's pretty, in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna attempt to cut the crease for like the first time in my life, so. Hopefully it goes well. <laughs> so apparently you take concealer with a concealer brush. Maybe I should have practiced this off camera, but hmm. Am I doing okay? I did it! Does it look good or does it look terrible? Okay, so now over top of that, I'm gonna place cheese fries. I think I did it. I mean, it might not be the greatest. Okay, so these do build. The first swipe there just was not doing it, but it is building. Is it shitty? Girl, I think I did it, but it's like freaking messy. Like I'm like a slob. I'm doing a little bit of rainbows and smiles on the outer corner here of this cut crease. Just to give it a little bit more something. Like these colors like don't show up. Oh, there we go. If you, if you build them, they do build up, but they're just, I don't like them at all. They're like, I feel like the dollar store shadows would do a lot better. And I'm just gonna put some glitter on here. Glitter saves everything. And I'm just gonna put it on with the part where I did the cut crease and I'm using the Stila glitter. Sorry if I'm not like really myself. I don't know what it is today. I'm kind of just like somber. <gasps> that kind of looks cute. Glitter saves everything. And the lighting just like sucks right now. Ugh. Okay, so here is the look. It's like kind of sloppy, but I feel like after I put on my lashes and stuff, it'll look good. So let's go ahead and put on our lip product first. Gigi Hadid, uh, I'm burping, lipstick in McCall. And I'm just like patting this on. I feel like when I pat on lipstick rather than like swipe it, it looks better on me. And I'm taking this crazy lip gloss by MAC and it's an Astro Cool alien color. I don't know why I'm using it, but or like a little bit of shine. Okay, so I got the liner and lashes and I just put a little bit of white liner on my waterline. And now I'm gonna mask it up. Gonna put a little bit underneath. Like honestly, lashes and liner save any look, I feel. I've been doing this new thing where I've been like kind of clumping my bottom lashes and it gives me like a doll look and I've been like loving it. And I use the Kiss Blowout lashes right now. So final thoughts, I don't like the palette. I will never use it, but, <laughs> but it's, it's cute to have. I like the makeup look I created. I'm actually excited that I attempted a cut crease and did it. I just am not a fan of this palette. It is very uh, messy. Like even right here, you can see that all in there. It's powdery, there's a lot of fallout. They just don't perform that well on the lids and I prep my lids, I'm using Morphe brushes. I'm not a fan, I think it's more of just the looks of it. I like the names, I like the theme of it, the Fetch palette, it's made out of your mom's chest hair. So thumbs up for that. I just didn't like these shadows themselves, but I think this will go really good in my makeup collection because I love Mean Girls. Let me know if what you guys think of my makeup look, like try to be a little nice, like I'm not a makeup artist. I love you guys, bye.